This 10-year-old girl was playing by the riverside when a crocodile grabbed her by the leg. No one could have imagined what happened next. A fisherman and his 10-year-old daughter named Aulia lived on a beautiful island of Sumatra. Her mother was a healer in the village and everyone came to her to get a cure for their ailments. Her father Arif, instead, was a skilled fisherman who lived on the island all his life. He had learned to fish from his father and grandfather before him and had a deep respect for the sea and all its creatures. He was known for his kind heart and gentle nature and was loved by many in the small fishing village where he lived with his wife and daughter. Every day he would set out to the sea to catch fish to sell at the market and his daughter loved nothing more than going with him on his fishing trips. Her father would wake her up every morning before dawn and they would set off in his small boat toward the open sea. As they sailed further away from the shore, Aulia would watch in amazement as the sky turned from dark to a beautiful shade of pink and orange. Once they arrived at their fishing spot, the fisherman would cast his nets into the water and the little girl would wait eagerly to help him pull them in when they were full of fish. They would spend the day fishing and chatting until the sun went down. They talked about anything and everything, her friends, the latest news from the village, and their plans for the future. When the sun began to set, the duo would make their way back to the shore. There was a popular market by the riverside in the village where she and her father went at the end of each day to sell their fish. It was very busy, and people came from all over the town to buy fresh products. This was another favorite part of the trip for Aulia, she always got the chance to play with her friends until her father was ready to go home. One sunny day, the little girl and her friends were playing hide-and-seek. This was her favorite game, and although her father had warned her against hiding in the woods, she knew that there was no better hiding place. As she scouted for the best place to hide behind the trees, she heard a strange sound. It sounded like a cat's meow, but it was a little bit hoarse. She went to investigate and found a small fluffy kitten lying in the grass. It was barely moving and looked very weak. Aulia forgot about her game and ran to call her father who was packing up, having sold all his fish. She took her father to where the kitten was, and the man was shocked to see what the little girl showed him. The creature was no kitten at all, but a tiger cub. The man was scared and made to turn away. However, he saw how weak and hungry the cub looked and gave it some of the fish he had reserved for his family. The little girl watched in awe as the cub devoured the fish hungrily. The man then went home with his daughter after a good day at work. That night, all Aulia could talk about was the little tiger she had found. The next day, she went on and on about the cub on their fishing trip and only stopped when her father promised to take her to check on it. The fisherman, however, made her promise not to go looking for the cub on her own. It was too dangerous, and he didn't want anything bad to happen to her. That day, Aulia's father reserved a lot of fish for the cub. After selling their catch for the day, they set out to look for it. Surprisingly, they found the little tiger in the same spot as the previous day. It seemed to recognize them, as it jumped about excitedly. The man dumped the fish on the ground, and just like the last time, the cub ate hungrily. Aulia and Arif realized that it had been either abandoned or orphaned, and vowed to take care of it until it was old enough to provide for itself. These visits soon became a routine. Every day after selling their wares, the little girl and her father would enter the woods to feed the cub, who was always waiting for them. They fed the tiger every day for two months, and Aulia quickly grew attached to the little creature. She loved seeing its fluffy fur and bright eyes every day, and would talk sweet nonsense to it as it ate. Visiting the cub became the highlight of Aulia's days. The cub was growing up quickly, and it looked stronger by the day. Her father knew that it was only a matter of time before it became too big to hang out with the little girl. But for the time being, he let Aulia have her harmless fun. But one day, the unthinkable happened. The little girl and her father went to see their little buddy as usual. But when they got there, they met an empty clearing. The man and his daughter waited for a little while and even tried searching for the cub, but he was nowhere to be found. They came back the next day, but they met an empty clearing again. After going back for three days to no avail, they knew that they might never see him again. Arif told Aulia that the cub had grown up and gone searching for other tigers in the deepest part of the wood. But even though she was happy for him, she couldn't help but miss him dearly. The little girl spent the next few weeks edging the woods, hoping to find a glimpse of her best friend. 
she was devastated that he had left without saying goodbye and hoped for a small sign that could assure her of his well-being. However, after a few months, she accepted that she would not see her furry friend again. One day, the little girl went with her mother to get some herbs by the riverside. While her mother was busy getting the herbs she needed, she entertained herself by the river by throwing rocks and pebbles into it. As the little girl played by the riverside, she was completely unaware of the danger that lurked in the water. A crocodile was slowly creeping towards her. Suddenly, the crocodile emerged from the murky depths and lunged towards her, its jaws snapping menacingly. In a flash, its jaws were snapped shut around Aulia's foot. The girl screamed in pain as it started dragging her towards the water. She kicked and struggled, trying to free herself, but it was no use. She thought it was the end. The girl was ready to give up when something unbelievable happened. From the corner of her eye, she saw a flash of orange and black. A huge Sumatran tiger leaped onto the crocodile's back with a fierce growl, biting and clawing at it with all its might. The tiger clamped its massive jaws down on the reptile's neck and held on, pinning it down with its strong paws. The crocodile thrashed and twisted, trying to shake off the tiger, but it was no match for the brave feline. In a desperate attempt to fend off its attack, it let go of Aulia's foot and the little girl quickly scrambled to safety. With a final roar that echoed through the jungle, the tiger drove the crocodile back into the river, sending it slinking away into the depths. The little girl was left lying on the ground, her foot bleeding and bruised, but alive thanks to the cub's bravery. Her mother, who had run to the riverside when she heard her daughter scream, witnessed the tiger battle the crocodile and thought it had only saved Alia's life to take it for itself. She watched in horror as the tiger started licking her daughter's face, but was shocked when the little girl hugged the large feline and smiled. Aulia knew that this was the cub that she and her father had fed for months. She would recognize its golden eyes and markings anywhere. After staying with the little girl for a while longer, the tiger slipped back into the forest. Her mother rushed to her side, crying tears of joy that her little girl was alive. She tended to Aulia's wounds and then took her home as fast as she could. When her father heard the story of what happened, he marveled at the intelligence of the tiger. When he had agreed to feed the cub, he never thought that it would repay his kindness by saving his daughter's life. As she watched her foot heal, Aulia couldn't stop thinking about the brave cub that had saved her life. She knew that she owed her life to the feline and vowed to always remember the debt she owed to it. What an amazing story! Would you ever befriend a tiger cub? And would you keep feeding it and playing with it as it became bigger and wilder? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.